In this video, we discuss the regulation of Investigatory Powers Act 2000. So the regulation of Investigatory Powers Act, or known as RIPA for short, is an example of a law that was created as a direct result of technology. It provides certain bodies the right to monitor communications and internet activities. RIPA is a relatively modern law and has come about due to evolving threats posed by criminal and terrorist organisations. Increasingly, criminals are using technology to communicate and coordinate their actions. RIPA grants certain bodies a range of rights to combat this. These public bodies include ones you would probably expect, like the police and security services. Others that are less obvious include the Environment Protection Agency, the Office of Fair Trading and the Serious Fraud Office. Now, under RIPA, there are several things which people can do. They can demand that internet service providers provide access to a customer's private communications. They can also prevent the existence of this interception activity being revealed in court. It allows for mass surveillance of communications and allows for the monitoring of an individual's internet activities. RIPA can be used to demand that access be granted to protected digital information. And they can also use RIPA to demand that ISPs install equipment which facilitates surveillance and monitoring. Now, all internet service providers and online businesses are subject to RIPA. ISPs provide us with internet access and services at home and work via a range of different devices like PCs, tablets or smartphones. RIPA dictates that ISPs have to both provide access to those digital communications, but also implement hardware and software systems that facilitate the surveillance of digital communications. RIPA also dictates that businesses have to both one, provide access to digital communications or data when asked, and two, implement hardware and software solutions that facilitate the storage again of digital communications. Now clearly some people have some concerns about which sort of organisations and public bodies should be allowed to use the powers of this legislation and under what circumstances. And of course, all the implications for privacy and freedom of speech. And indeed, RIPA has been misused in the past. One famous example is when a couple were monitored to determine whether they lived in the catchment area for the school they wanted to send their children to. Having watched this video, you should be able to answer the following key question. What is the Regulation of Investigatory Powers Act?